welcome back again guys to my youtube channel and uh, thank you very much for keep watching uh, on my videos and also uh, for sharing it thank you very much and uh, today i just received one uh, uh, printer from uh, our vessel and uh, i will show you uh, how to open it and uh, how to uh, because i don't know exactly what is the problem but uh, as per the uh, uh, vessel's uh, report, uh, this is not working, no power anymore. So this is um, a sailor uh, printer for uh, yeah, Inmarsat C. Uh, if you have problem with your printer uh, uh, for your Inmarsat C, this is train and train, okay? Uh, sailor printer, okay? Where is the model of this? I just uh, ah here. So this is the uh, and uh, I'll show you the connection. This is the connection for the printer uh, uh, paper uh, uh, limit switch paper sensor. And uh, here I'll just show you the. Uh, this is uh okay this is the model uh type uh, h1252b uh slash tt uh, 36 come on 36088a okay uh, this is the tag Hopefully it's clear, I don't know, a little bit blurred, sorry about that, and, uh, okay, I'll show you again, hopefully you can see, okay, this is the other tag one, and this is, the supply is uh, from 8, uh, 10.8 to 32 volts DC okay this is the three pins and uh, uh, if you miss the connection if you want to try to connect uh, the pin configuration is this is this side uh, for me I just make it mark and confirm this side is a negative okay and this uh, in your uh, uh, right side pin in this two pin this pins uh, this is the positive side the down is ground and uh, just forget about it put the supply here and this uh, left side pin this is negative okay okay this is the negative and this side is positive okay so you can test your printer uh, without the uh, power cord just make sure that it is uh, uh, in the range of 10.8 volts to uh, 32 volts DC So we'll try to remove this and check what is exactly the problem I want to see uh, By the way, I just want to remove because some uh, I have uh, I have a problem last time that uh, they don't know how to fit the the, uh, the uh, paper so Just try to remove. Okay. This is the uh, we have the this is the uh, same uh, printer uh, uh, as a uh, normal printer you have the paper lock here the ro roller lock on this side and this is the uh, uh, feeder uh, lock also so if this is open uh, I cannot uh, okay, try to move the paper but it will not come out because the uh, um, roller uh, lock is open so if you want to fit the uh, paper, I will just remove it. Okay, so actually it is easy. If you are lucky, you just put this paper in, fit it in here, and just roll the paper out. But you see, this is coming out, so you can remove this cover. This cover is removable. Okay, you can remove this and uh, put the paper down uh, underneath this roller. Okay, just a minute little bit out then and after that you can return and put this 
take this paper out on the window of the cover and that's it okay so now okay we will remove first the paper okay just remove this and this also uh, this is just only a uh, like uh, there is a guide here you just put it and it will sit here on the top of the uh, printer that's it to remove this first and then I remove this cover uh, to open this this cover we have two screw here okay one here and the other one here and we have the uh, lock here on uh, the uh, rear side you have two lock here but that is easy okay and just first open this is two screw so if you have problem uh, with your uh, inmarsat c printer you can uh, open and check by yourself if uh, there is any uh, pcb board uh, burn so after removing the two screws just oh i forget I remove this knob also okay you can pull it out and now you can remove like this wow you see a very nice one i think this is a bye bye situation now okay i'll show you so this is the board you see what happened ah, see this now some water uh, penetration here this is already corroded and uh, okay show you you see and the uh, transistor uh, PCB board already burned uh, this is not burned but this is corrosion already totally corroded and uh, hopefully this is totally the uh, dead board this is the power board it's totally dead uh, maybe if I have time I will try to clean this and that I have I one IC there inside it's already all the uh, pins is already already corroded so uh, what I can do for this uh, I will just try to fix this otherwise this will be scrap but I can still use this board here some other I have the thermal uh, print head also I can use this and some uh, uh, this motor and roller still uh, still usable so I can make this as my spare parts otherwise I will order this uh, PCB board if they can provide then uh, maybe this printer will work Again. so this is how you open your uh, uh, printer guys and uh, if you want to do the maintenance uh, for your printer so you open the cover and you see this dust is killing actually the uh, roller and also the print head dusty print uh, dusty paper is passing through the uh, print head it is uh, scratching the head so you can clean by yourself so this is it guys and uh, really uh, well, I don't know how the water goes inside here maybe someone put uh, the uh, teacup This is not an ordinary. Uh, it's not an ordinary water. See? I don't know. This is like acid. It will not. It will not be like this.
Oh really? It's burning the uh, PCB board. It's like acid. So, I will try to uh, do the uh, repair, but uh, this is the 50-50 uh, uh, percentage because the PCB board already damaged and uh, this is small, uh, small transistors also I don't have I don't know if this is available in uh, uh, this is IRF540 only so I have this but I will try I will just keep uh, update to you if I fix this or not and uh, we will see on my next video I will just show you uh, if I can repair it or not but uh, if I have a spare I can do the repair one by one I can remove this and check continuity of the PCB board also I can do uh, this take little time but uh, for me uh, I, can, I can manage it but the problem is if I have this particular uh, spare parts uh, hopefully this IC is not damaged uh, this is a uh, two four six eight pins IC you see it you see that one it is I don't know okay, okay. Uh, this is the IC Okay, yeah. you see this is the IC and the, all the pins is all corroded and the other side also is the same so I will try to remove this first and clean and uh, we will see so this is uh, I'm showing you how to open and when uh, okay I will just turn it back so you know also how to turn it back, how to remove it and how to return it back okay so here is the cover first a little bit difficult to return back actually but uh, you should uh, okay you should do this should uh, you should uh, do the this position first okay I see okay just align first the back side because we have uh, we have two clips here this one and this one okay this and this these two clips is a little bit difficult to uh, put back if you are doing like this it will not go inside okay it will not go inside so you should do like this okay so it's in after that put the screw and return it back the front cover and that's it and they turn back the uh, knob uh, oh okay yes so that's it guys and uh, i'm just showing you this uh procedure how to open it because maybe you are afraid how to uh, do uh, the maintenance of your uh, printer actually uh, uh, the most important thing is at least you clean this roller clean this with the uh, uh, I will show you the, uh, I have a glass cleaner so you can use uh, tissue I don't have tissue here yeah. yeah. no I don't have tissue so I just use a uh, glass cleaner and uh, clean this all roller and uh, it will be okay so just use the uh, glass cleaner this is window cleaner but just use it and clean all this so the um, surface of the uh, roller surface of the uh, uh, roller to the paper is like a smooth and uh, it is clean also okay so this is how you do it 
it's easy you just open it i don't know why this dust this is inside the bridge and uh, i don't know why dust is gonna coming in here there is no uh there is no any uh, ventilation also inside this printer no any fun going in but still dust is going inside so you do the preventive maintenance open and clean it and also at least uh, you see the roller here it's shiny see uh, at least uh, you can check also uh, the side you see this is dust and most of the time if you are not using this it's having a uh, rust here become rusted so you just need to open it and move this head left and right maximum so you can uh, you can uh, free all the uh, dust and rust here in this ruler in this uh, shop sliding shop okay guys this is what i can show you now at least uh, you are familiar of how to open your uh, um, in Marsat C uh, Sailor in Marsat C uh, printer. If you have a problem like a jump, jamming paper uh, jam or whatever, just do the inspection, open it. Because sometimes this uh, gear is broken. This is also uh, uh, it is turning on the shop, and it, it, you see when I turn this uh, gear this is not turning because here the shaft is already broken plastic uh, uh, gear the other one is broken so at least you can see and you can report uh, i don't have uh, that the printer is uh, unrepairable need the spare parts blah 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 whatever so okay guys thank you very much for keep watching on my youtube channel and uh, please uh, share also to everybody at least uh, this information will be uh, open to everybody and uh, uh, if they don't know how to open the uh, I mean to do the uh, maintenance preventive maintenance on their equipments so it is very easy for them to, uh, to follow this uh, procedure follow my videos and they can do by themselves cleaning do, doing the maintenance Okay guys, thank you very much and please subscribe and click also the notification button below so you will be notified automatically if I uploaded new videos, updates on some previous jobs and uh, thank you very much again guys. Have a nice day. Bye bye. Until next time. Bye.